Good evening, brothers and sisters. This mass is offered for the following intentions. Thanksgiving by Andrew Fernandez and family. Special intention by Sama and Trevor Rodriguez. And for the soul of Dominicos Protado. And brothers and sisters, as we are gathered here on this around this Eucharistic table to celebrate the Christmas. Let us thank the Heavenly Father for sending His only begotten Son to save each and every one of us. Therefore, thanking the Lord for His incarnation, let us offer His holy Eucharist. <laughs> Sisters, in order to prepare for these sacred mysteries, let us watch my soul of sins and prophets of sacredness to the Lord. Once again, let us purify our hearts and minds so that the Lord will come and stay in our hearts. We now to invite the Lord Jesus Christ, the baby Jesus, into our hearts. Let us be sorry for all our sins and offenses. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the most and virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
exalt. Your response? Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. They shall exalt before the Lord, for he comes. For he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the people with constancy. Your response? Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all, and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope. The appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Sarah has been born for you, 
who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth who is to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, first of all, I wish you a Merry Christmas. The very one God means it. Bless you with his love. May the joy and peace of the Lord Jesus always be in your hearts as it is today. And my prayer for you is that the joy and peace of the Lord may be with you and your family today and every day. And uh, as you know, the whole world is locked down now, right now, because of the uh, corona, the pandemic, right? And uh, because it is locked down, and even we are locked inside our houses, and nobody can come into our house, and we cannot go to the, our own neighbor's house or to the family members, and it is very difficult these days because of the pandemic. And I think this is the right time to speak about the meaning of the Christmas in this pandemic. And when we read the gospel, you know, when the time was about to give birth to the child, Joseph and Mary was looking for a house. And they were going from house to house. They were knocking the doors. It was locked down. Nobody opened. Maybe it was so frightening. And it was really locked down as, uh, as, as it was just now because of the pandemic. Everything is locked down. So for the Jesus, there was no place to, um, maybe for maybe there was no place to give birth to Jesus. And finally, it was in the answer that they had a place. And my brothers and sisters, and this is the best time to think about the love of God. Even the whole world is locked down because of Corona, because of the pandemic, and all are frightened. But Jesus is just coming and looking into our hearts. Don't lock down your heart. I will be with you always. So just to open your hearts and minds, give me a little place there. I'll be there. And the consoling word that today we have to take, when the angel of the Lord appeared to the, uh, to the shepherds, and they were frightened, and the angel said to them, do not be afraid. So the right word of God in this Christmas night, in this Christmas Eve, Jesus is telling us, don't be afraid. You just open your hearts and minds, and I will come there, and I will sit here, and I will leave. Therefore, um, therefore, uh, you shall not be frightened. So, my dear brothers, as, as we celebrate today the Christmas Eve, my wish and prayer is for all of you: is that do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Just to open your heart and mind. Don't. Be, you can lock down your house for others, but don't lock down your house. Don't lock down your mind. Don't lock down your heart. Let it be open. Let the Christ Jesus come and stay with you forever. And let him give you the peace and joy that you need to go forward, especially in this pandemic time. May the child born the nature give you strength and courage, and may Jesus Christ encourage you and give you strength and give you power so that as we just go ahead in our lives, especially as we are entering into the year 2021, 
May Jesus give you the strength to go ahead in your life. God bless you all and wish you a Merry Christmas once again. That is Proverbs of Faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of me. Consubstantial with the Father, to Him all things were made. For us for Him for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and in the kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Who is the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Amen. Our hearts are filled with joy as we commemorate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. With grateful hearts, let us pray to God our Father who sent His Son to save us. Lord, bless us with your presence. Lord, bless us with your presence. That by our witness of the Incarnation, Peoples of the world may experience the presence of Jesus, the God made man. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us with your presence. That peace may reign among nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us with your presence. That non Christians may be led to the knowledge of Jesus, the God made man. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us with your presence. That families may live in love, joy, peace, and harmony this Christmas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us with your presence. That the poor may find hope and joy with the coming of the Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us with your presence. For a moment, let us raise before the Lord, our, all our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us with your presence. Father, we praise you for having sent your Son to be our Savior, which in be our life, joy, and peace in this life and through eternity. We make this prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit here upon us, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Thanks be to God. 